Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a weapon you are going to love, the FR Avancer. I was in a couple of lobbies testing a different weapon, and I noticed one particular player kept melting me even when I got the first shot in on him. And so I watched the kill cam a couple of times and saw he was using the OG FR Advancer. So I decided to give it a try, and I'm glad that I did. First, let's look at the configuration. I'm going to start with the Mark III Reflector. doesn't do anything good or bad. just gives me glass. I think the comb is pretty important. It gives a 2% ADS, and that's where the Avancer needs some help is in the ADS speed. But look at that sprint to fire. 181 milliseconds. That's composite based on all of the attachments that I've loaded her up with. The grip is the SA Cashin grip that helps with the kick. It's a pretty accurate weapon. You're going to see when we compare it to vanilla MCW that the recoil is actually on par with it, maybe a little better in some areas, a little worse than the horizontal recoil. I put the 45 round mag on it because I'm going into free for all. With this heavy punching weapon, you got to go into free for all. Yeah, it impacts ADS and it mildly impacts other areas, but the extra rounds, I'm going to need them for multi kills. Finally, the 395 millimeter FR mini bore that helps with the uh, hip fire spread, max the tactical stance, but the ADS speed. That's why I put it on there. It hurts the damages a little bit, but at 22 meters, you can afford to let it go, especially in the small maps I'll be playing. The damage itself is 43, 31, 31, 29, and I wasn't all that impressed with it until I looked at the rate of fire, 923.1 rounds per minute. This is a bullet hose assault rifle. So let's go on to the field of honor and see what happened with the FR Advancer. Still wearing a trash bag, either lost a bet or his team didn't make the playoffs last year. So let's get on into this FR Advancer. If you compare it to a vanilla MCW, fire rate is the big thing. Green highlighted, very good. Red highlighted, very bad. But there is a lot of green high highlighted. And you can see the headshot damage, the stuff I don't usually share per second, the upper torso per second, the lower torso per second, and upper legs per second, significantly in the favor of the FR Avancer. And you can tell how a weapon is going to perform vis-a-vis -vis another weapon by those numbers. How much damage does it put out in a second? Let's look at the kill metrics and recoil. As you could expect, the Avancer beats the MCW in every category. Just don't be shooting at the upper legs. But look at the headshots. Oh, my word. As far as recoil about the same the mcw wins with ver a horizontal recoil vertical recoil is won by the advancer a double kill and finally if you look at performance it's about the same movement speed significantly better for the mcw but sprint to fire speed that's what grandpa cares about how fast can you get that weapon up and shooting, the Avancer wins big time. The rest, pretty close. What is this place? Looks like jellyfish everywhere. It looks like they've taken over Scrapyard. I played two free-for-alls with the Avancer. That's all I'd allow myself because I was having way too much fun with it. I could have played all day on a Saturday with this weapon i'm going to put out the video early tomorrow morning after i do the things i need to do to it wow and then i get gacked i get gacked i get gacked i built up a lead and i go back and i get revenge if you're going to camp on old grandpa he's going to come back and find you and if you're not already pushing up daisies he's going to help you to it you can see how fast you can bring that thing up how fast the bullets come out sprint to fire saved my life there i gotta let you know that the reason why i tried this weapon out i'm doing a video on a on another weapon the k70 cast off 74u and i was playing a match and one guy kept just destroying me he kept melting me 
even if I got the first shot in. And I watched the kill cam a couple of times and noticed he was playing with the advancer. So I decided to give it a shot. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even think about this weapon since I got it up to mastery. Orion camo and mastery. And there is a Snickers win. We'll watch another full game here because, I, like I said, I played two. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a bullet hose, not a lot of recoil. And it, it just feels good. It feels good. When you pull the trigger, you have confidence that it's going to do damage. There, I got hoisted on my own petard. My own proximity mine made me buy the farm. So this was a bloody, bloody free for all but das house always is because it just is it's tight quarters i tried it with sniper rifles i've won it with sniper sniper rifles but i was pretty confident with the advancer now it took me a while to come up to speed in this lobby these guys were all over the place they were moving there were only a couple of campers and guess what today i have yet to see an iron bag that's really a banner day for me there's somebody got gacked there even though you got your shotgun the advancer if it gets the first shot it's going to take care of you i didn't notice any slowdown in movement speed as the stats would imply oh better have some <laughs> ran out of bullets Grandpa shooting blanks there. We're going to go ahead and reload everything and pitch back into the fray, as we used to say in the fighter community. When I pulled the trigger, I was pretty confident the GAC belonged to Grandpa. <laughs> that guy goes sliding past me. He probably thought that I had already bought the farm. No respect whatsoever for the elderly. There's Tommy Chong. There were two Chommy, Tommy Chongs. Maybe one of his name is Tad Chong and the other is Tob Chong. They're twins. One of them was a king. One of them played a little bit less than a king would claim. On Das House, I try to engage people that are already engaged. Now, he was camped ADS, and he, I think he forgot to pull the trigger. That's unexcusable. Grandpa should have bought the farm. Whoa, slide pass, come back. You see how fast the advancer is, and, and I can't say it enough. It just packs a punch, and there's another Snickers win. It's so satisfying. Overall impressions, a permanent class. You're going to like this. Try it. Use my configuration or yours. Doesn't matter. You're going to like it. Speaking of liking, like and subscribe. Helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace.